Hey guys, Dylan here. Welcome back to another video. And today, you guys already know, I got Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Yeah. You guys know, I already got Vegeta. If you guys want to see that toy review and the toy itself, just go to my channel and you'll find it. Uh. I don't know how to do that crap. Anyway, so I'm going to build this thing. Yes, it's a model kit. Gotta build it and paint it. Well, paint if you have a life, which I do. You know what? I don't. I don't really have anything anyone against painting. You know, it's just I don't really want to, and it's easier when you put the stickers on. I miss when Jobby DeHaan used to paint. Oh well, so I'm gonna build this thing. Let's get started with the tour review. This is my ultimate form. Super Sad 4! Alright. Yeah. I'm back, guys. I'm back. Once again, this is a model kit. You have to build it and paint it. Well, well, if you had a life, you don't paint. I don't, I have a life, so I didn't paint it. But it's good, though. It's kind of weird how they have Goku like this. I wish this was canon and this was the continuing of Dragon Ball Z. Because Super Saiyan 4 is pretty cool. Along with the hair. Like when they transform, along with the hair. I would also love to see Gohan in that form. Yeah, Gohan. Anyway, so, first of all, let's um, point out the flaws. The face is the flaw. And I'm not saying there are actual flaws on it now. I'm saying when you build it. Like, you literally have to put the eyes in, just like with Vegeta. I thought it would be different. It would be different. Alright, now before we continue, I want to show you guys this. It comes with a Kamehameha, but that's kind of that's kind of nah, that's kind of new for all the model kits. He has a tail that actually moves. Just, I could just snap that in. Um, what else? What else? What else? Ah, the movement of this thing is awesome. It's steady. It's nice, and it doesn't break off every time you move the arm, like other model kits do. You know, it's it's good. It's fantastic. Arm moves nice. The face moves nice. Nothing's falling off like like on Vegeta. Tails move. Or just showed you guys this. The leg. That's the only flaw. Cause since the leg is made a different way, you don't really get all that movement like you usually do on figures. But uh, you know, I don't really care. I don't pay attention to it. I like how you have to build that part to make it look like the he's actually stretching out and stuff. So that's pretty much it for this thing. It's basically just like the remaking of Goku and Vegeta. Like, it's good though. I like it. It's okay. It's good. You know, you got that full movement. Seems like you'd be using the stop motion. The reason why I'm the reason why I'm doing this is because you guys know Super Saiyan 4 isn't really part of the Dragon Ball Z thing, so it's not real, and a lot of people hate it for that. So, uh, yeah. But don't worry, guys. Don't worry. A cooler toy review is coming very, very soon. So, yeah. Uh, so let me get, so let me put this in a pose so we can end this already. Okay, guys, I'm back. And over here we have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with this famous Kamehameha. And we have Vegeta. Final shine attack. Yes, I finally remembered. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Like this video, give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.